So today I will be talking to you about 1080, which is such a fun subject because it's so debatable and there's so many opinions out there. Uh, so I don't, I don't actually genuinely like talking about 1080 because you always get like the tension up uh, when you mention it, but it's part of my project and people need to know what it is, why it's used in Australia uh, when it's been banned in other countries and uh, really what the debate is about it. So I thought I'd just mention it real quick today, kind of get it over with so I can do other videos. <laughs> yeah, so 1080 is um, sodium fluoroacetate. It has been used for invasive species management here in Australia since the early 1960s. Um, it is an odorless, tasteless powder that is uh, diluted with water, um, depending on the concentration you need for whatever your target species is for your management campaign. Um, sometimes special dye is used uh, with the water um, so that you can identify the toxin as it's in the, in the baits. So 1080 has been banned in certain countries such as the United States, but it's still operational here in Australia uh, in invasive species management campaigns around these different states. I uh, believe that one reason why it's still used here is because fluoroacetate uh, occurs naturally in about 35 to 40 different species of native plants here, though most of them are in Western Australia, uh, the Northern Territory and uh, parts of Queensland. Uh, there's not so many in the southern states, so there are, but it's not so frequent, so that's why it's a bit debatable to use 1080 um, in the southern states. So what does 1080 actually do? Uh, well, once the toxin is ingested, it won't work until it's been ingested, and once it is, then it... Um, breaks down and attacks the uh, central nervous system um, and it disrupts that to the point where the animal eventually becomes unconscious and, uh, and dies. Um, in foxes and dogs this has been a bit debated because it's, it takes a while for the toxin to, to take effect. It can take, for, for dogs and foxes anyway, uh, between 30 and 180 minutes to take effect and when it does some of the symptoms are physical and it's a bit horrendous uh, to see because um, it leads to convulsions and sometimes foaming at the mouth and most people think that this is the animal uh, in pain a lot of times people think that although reports suggest that the animal experiences no pain at this time, um, but it still, it still looks uh, the part. And one of the reasons that this debate is so significant is because 1080 baiting is considered one of the most efficient and cost-effective options out there for uh, feral cat management. So that's why if the public refuses to use it in all accounts, what do we do? Um, there's other options, of course, but sometimes they're they're more expensive or labor intensive or both. Um, and so we're, we're trying to determine what what direction to go in if if 1080 is not accepted. Um, or we'll also see if the public would be willing to pay willingness to pay for um, not using 1080, basically. Uh, what would you be willing to pay to use these other techniques that are more expensive as opposed to using 1080? Um, so these are the questions that we're trying to answer right now. Um, trying. And um, yeah, that's, that's a little summary on 1080 and why kind of it's, it's debated and things. Um, if you have any opinions about it, let me know in, in the comments. I'd love to hear from you.